EA Sports. It's in the game. What a play! What a game! Mine on the rich is hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex know they ready. See, we were not around nobody way. We the ones who started with it. Translation. Yanny had to buy Yanny and Yanny hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go with it. Uh-huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. Grrr. The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Houston Texans and the Cincinnati Bengals. the former UCLA Bruin, Kaimi Fairbairn, to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. To throw again on second down. Burrow. And yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? On 
on third down, Burrow. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Flush to his right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. First and ten, it's Pierce. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Mills throw complete here, pulled in by Howard. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Here we go now on first and goal. Play action now, Mills. They'll roll him out right. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Here's Pierce. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Again, it's Pierce. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Bengals drive about to get going as this offense gets ready here for this drive Charles you, you still wonder about that prior drive went for it on fourth down in their own territory didn't get it and then that led to a touchdown on the other side and I don't mind the aggressiveness in fact I'm usually a huge fan of it but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward to me too early in this game because reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed now the pressure back on their offense to pick themselves up, and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Flushed out right. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. And they go play action now. Burrow, he'll buy some time right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Texans are going to take over here up near the 40. Yeah, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little 
little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown on a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Mills. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And they're going to get this up to midfield. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. Mills now from the 50. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins. 50 yards and the Texans have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead as a former DB you might not like to see that but from a wide receiver's perspective those are the plays they dream of correct on both counts all right because once he took off I mean let's face it that should have been done in big sky country aren't any speed limits out there and off he went glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Taken in at the three. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. Now Burrow, escaping the pressure right. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll move the chains. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. The last run got six, now second and four. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 47. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Now watch one, watch one. Burrow. 
Looking to pass. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. A big play there for Cincinnati. 41 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. to Mixon and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one it'll be a gain of five there as they move closer it's second and goal another try for Mixon and he takes it into the end zone touchdown Bengals Joe Mixon punching it in from a yard away and the Bengals have cut it back within a score Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Now, right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A huge play there for Houston. 43 yards. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Sliding out of the pocket. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Howard. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Well, Brent, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. 
And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. From the gun on third down is Burrow. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the offense does cover this one, but back inside their own five-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Fourth down. Here's Joe Burrow. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Rolling to his right. That's complete. It's Collins. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Looking to throw again on second down. Mills. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Mills again. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. But that was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate that was just incomplete. Fourth down, Mills. They'll roll him out right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth, and the Bengals will get the football back. The Bengals drive about to get going. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans at their own 42. A first down throw for Mills. He'll buy some time right. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. On play action, Mills. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mills now. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Mills to throw it. 
Flush to his right. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Somehow I feel he's going to hear the same thing when he gets to the sidelines after this series. So close to the first down marker. Just tuck it and run for the first down. No sense trying to throw it. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Texans' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And it's now 21-7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. 23 yards on the play. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. A big hitter to start the drive. Has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Burrow will throw. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. On second and seven, Burrow. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And the Texans are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. Switch, switch, switch. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And some room to run now. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. First down, they go right back to Pierce. And some space here. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside.